Hi, I'm Chris Joseph and I'm on a journey restoring the magnificent Sarah Ann, a charming wooden day sailor originally crafted in the late 1960s in the heart of Tasmania. I'm gearing up for an adventure of a lifetime as I prepare Sarah Ann for some exhilarating cruising around Tasmania's coastal and sheltered waters. If you're passionate about maritime history, wooden boat restoration or simply crave the allure of the open water, this channel is your ticket to a world of maritime adventures. Subscribe now, hit that notification bell, and let's embark on this incredible journey together. Anyone that was expecting that something could go wrong at the launch was certainly not disappointed. I managed to knock the spigot out of my water container which gave the appearance that she was sinking. And she hadn't even left the trailer at that stage. <laughs> That's a good one, Chris. Years ago, my old mate Robert, who introduced me to traditional wooden boats, found Ocean Sweeper on the front lawn of a Tasmanian property. He lovingly restored her, and together with our growing tribe of nearly a dozen offspring, we embarked on a memorable trip down the Fresnay Peninsula. The Ocean Sweeper is a remarkable vessel with a rich history dating back to the early 20th century, making her over 100 years old. Her timeless beauty and craftsmanship are a testament to a bygone era of boat building in Tasmania. Recently, Robert undertook another restoration of the Ocean Sweeper, preserving her legacy for generations to come. This inspired us to plan the launch of Sarah Ann, a new addition to our maritime adventures. It's a unique opportunity to see these two magnificent boats on the water together, a true celebration of craftsmanship, friendship, and an enduring love for the sea. Join us on this YouTube video as we share the incredible journey of these boats, the restoration, and the joy they bring to our lives. My grandson presented me with a bottle of champagne for the relaunch of Sarah Ann. Judging by the following footage, we may have well been advised to be a bit moderate enjoying the wine. We seem to be circling out of control and out of our minds. Actually, we didn't have too much wine, just a quick swig before testing out her manoeuvrability under power. I wanted to see how she responded to the helm going ahead and going astern. I was expecting a fair bit of prop walk but it turns out she manoeuvres on a dime. To the river To the river we go Leave our worries on the shore and drift away On the river On the river we know Sometimes the perfect words are never said My coffee, I don't feel like talking. My goodness, what a good day! Going by a bit of life. That's how far everything's going to plan. Who knows that's the cool <laughs> To the river. Fucking 
oven on the grill and sneak a taste to the river to the river we go leave our worries on the shore and drift away on the river on the river we know sometimes the perfect words are never said your mind when you're intertwined with the water and the waves. Before you end your days And if you see me out there, wave hello Sarah Ann sails are deeply creased and crackle loudly. They're very stiff. They're over 13 years old, but I don't think they've ever been used. I've got my other old friend called Robert at the helm. He's a very experienced sailor and was very successful in club racing. With Robert to guide me, we're able to set the trim on the sails perfectly and she just glides along over the billiard table flat water. She hardly creates a ripple in her wake. Little gusts of about eight knots were coming across the water from time to time and Sarah Ann quickly got up to her hull speed, which seems to be around about four and a half knots. I think I'll be doing a lot of sailing because that's just as fast as motoring. My other mate that was watching us from Ocean Sweeper had warned us about going downstream. I was glad that she did sail so efficiently because we immediately, of course, headed downstream. We sailed back effortlessly against the tide on a beam reach, safely back to the boat ramp on one tack. <laughs> 